Good afternoon, respected chairperson, judges, and my dear friends. So, uh, building affordable closed loop system in narratives. The experience I'm going to share from India, uh, the area which we don't have much of experience earlier. So, uh, this is the Indian scenario, the statistics you can see from the, uh, the numbers, how, how many numbers of type 1 patients we have. And one in every three children lives in poverty, while one in seven adults lives in poverty. So, definitely to manage type 1 diabetes, you have to monitor blood sugars regularly, titrate the dosage, so as to maintain blood sugar control and to avoid complications in future. So, but majority of our type 1 diabetes patients in our country unfortunately succumbs to the complications. That's what we are seeing. Again, uh, coming to the Indian scenario, uh, unfortunately, many of our type 1 patients are not being supported with any free monitoring system or uh, insulins. But uh, like states like Kerala and Gujarat, uh, they are the government, they are give, providing free insulin strips uh, for type 1 diabetes patients under uh, projects and definitely the forums like RSSDI, uh, Life for a Child project, they are also supporting in a big way. So many a times uh, patients are not getting the proper uh, management, that's what we are seeing, but the affordable patients who can go for the better choices or the advancement in type 1 diabetes management, which we are seeing, let it be the mo monitoring part or management, at least they can uh, go for the options of getting treated with these uh, available uh, options. So uh, this was the uh, survey which we conducted with uh, the help of an interdisciplinary team of medical doctors, engineers and patient innovators uh, to gather experience from the usage of do it yourself users across India. Do it yourself means the patient will be using an independent insulin pump, there will be a sensor, uh, there will be a uh, system which will communicate with the pump and sensor and the mobile phone or the phone with apps, the open source uh, where you are using the algorithm to titrate the insulin dosage according to the blood sugar levels that patients are getting. So in India, uh, what we are seeing the users of DIY apps in India, the most commonly used, used one is Android because they prefer Android because the closing the loop is much easier with the usage of Android when you compare with the iOS available and uh, no need to renew developer license. Uh, easy to install developer file and uh, cannot extend the sensor with the usage of iOS. Uh, that's why many of them are using uh, Android apps for using DIY. And the compatible insulin pumps they, uh, they are using most commonly in India is Medtronic 712, 715 and 722 insulin pumps. Uh, they are using the either relay link or orange link as communication from the pump to the mobile apps. The professional CGM, which we uh, most commonly use in DIY, uh, of course, the Libre Pro. Uh, one of the affordable way to get real-time data is to use a transmitter like Meow Meow or Night Rider. And most of the users reuse the sensor with the certain apps by restarting it. And they are saying that the values are accurate. And starting with the first case, this is 35-year-old male uh, who had diagnosed type 1 diabetes at the age of 13 years. He started using the uh, DIY was first with Apple phone and then he changed to app, uh, Android one. His HbA1c came down to 6.3 percentage without hyperglycemia and the time in range you can see up to 80 to 85 percentage and the monthly expense he had was 10,000. The initial pump expense of course uh, 2.5 lakhs and the second user uh, he was an entrepreneur from uh, Hyderabad 31 year old but he started using only six months back. He is using uh, Medtronic 715 pump uh, using the Libre Pro sensor, Loop app, iPhone, and again you can see the time in range of 7.75 percentage to 85 percentage without hypoglycemia. I even see reduced up to 6.2 percentage, and again cost monthly is up to 15,000. And this is the third case, 27 year old engineer. Uh, he had diagnosed at the age of 17 years. Again with the usage of uh, DIY, 80 to 85 percentage time in range with HbA1c of 6 to 6.5 percentage. And the last case. Uh, here also you can see the time in range of 90 percentage with HbA1c reduction up to 5.6 percentage. So this was the observation in the entire patient pool which we got the survey done. You can see from the initial HbA1c, 
and to the reduction of HbA1c later and with time in range above 80% for all those patients who are using uh, DIY apps. So again, going for the feedback and how the quality of life changed among these patients, the single biggest improvement that all of them uh, were explaining with regard to hypo or hypo, hyper uh, huge fluctuations which we see in type 1 diabetes and many said that they could sleep uh, continuously in night without having the fear of going for hypoglycemia. Of course, discussing on the merits of DIY, again, what I said, you have to have more and more data with the usage of DIY, you have to get more clinical trials done. Of course, you have the lupus community where they are getting 24-hour uh, help, uh, global online support whenever, wherever it is needed. And this should be made affordable to those patients like what I said, many, many among our type 1 patients, they can't afford even insulin for controlling their blood sugar. So this costly treatment options available should be made affordable also. And to conclude, DIY app community is growing in India. The users are reporting incredible improvements in quality of life and time in range, which we discussed right now. They are successful in reaching better goals, goals at a much lower cost as well. When you see the entire case being discussed, like starting from one to fourth case I have uh, discussed. So we are really positive with the usage of DIY apps among our type 1 diabetes patients.